Right now, tubers, it's time to update my battery hashing rig. I'm going to take out a couple of cards out of my five card rig because, let's face it, the price of Ethereum is in the toilet at the moment. So I want to remove the two Samsung memories and just leave the Hynix up here. So now the way I don't actually know which way is the way the cards are installed. Now I can use a command over ethdistro.com under help. You can use a find GPU. So F I N D hyphen GPU space. Now th this is where it gets a little bit confusing. It says GPU one, but it actually starts at GPU zero. So zero is one, one is two, two is three, and so on and so forth. So if you want to find GPU zero, which I want to do, I would open up my control panel and then I would click on rig admin. You go to shell in a box, find hyphen GPU space zero and then start so what that, that, that starts the command now what will happen over here is GPU zero has gone to fan speed of 0 0.8 all the rest are three and you'll soon see the temperature go up so that is this one here and I can hear the fan and there we go the fans just kick back in again and this the fan speed went all the way back up again to compensate for the extra temperature or however it works so it turns the fan up and down high and low revs it so i can find which one now i've already done this so these two cards here um, despite their order here uh, these two cards here are the ones i want to take out of this rig once you've found the cards you want make sure you press ctrl c on the keyboard and that will stop the fans from going up and down so I'm going to shut this one down, go and grab the battery hasher, bring it up here and do some changing. We're back down the battery shed, we've just got to pull this out, so it's just a matter of a cable there. Uh, that is that cable. So the only other cable there is the cable for the watchbond or the BMS. Unplug that one. Okay, just got to unscrew these. And they're nice and tight, nice and carefully. Negative first. Very carefully remove it. Unfortunately, I don't have any Pharrells for those yet. I've ordered them, they haven't come in. I do have them down here on this side. Quite tightly done up. There we go, done. Two out. Crimped in there nicely, nice and flat, which means they're getting good contact, which is what I want to see. Okay, so just having a quick look at this rig, and one thing I noticed was these cards are bent over an awfully long way. There's an awful lot of play in that. So I might have to might have to make some sort of brackets up like that. And then one of these. Oh, I've moved it all around uh, come out very very easily on the way up so I might have to work on a solution that will hold those in place a lot better I'll jump on eBay or something like that and have a quick Google if I find anything I'll put it up in the corner um, and link it a little bit later okay so before I turn this off I will type in vi.local.config and just jot down what the settings are for those cards so I don't have to retune everything again after that I can turn that off stop that from hashing then we can unplug all this while we're waiting now I know people have gone on about cable management but come on this is this is redneck Pete we're trying to work this out there it's shut down take a couple of these screws out done Not bad at all after what three months of hashing not very much dust but i do try and keep them clean install them over here not much to it really there we go two eight pin headers in plugged in nicely there you go that's done that's about as exciting as i could make putting two video cards into a what is essentially a computer removed a couple of redundant cables, screwed things down a little bit better. That's all I've done. Let's get after it and put it back in again.
See if we can configure it up and get these cards to hash. See if we can get two cards to hash, that'd be cool. Obviously I need my favourite tool. So back in the shed, it's all up and running, really, really happy. It's probably the simplest I've ever had it. It just worked, I plugged it all in, turned it on. We're getting, and it's just dropped down. <laughs> 27 on one and 29 on the other. I haven't gone through and tuned it yet. Um, I must do that in the next 24 hours, I guess. I should be able to get 61 or 62 out of that, I reckon, um, in total. All right, let's take a quick look at the amps. So 23.62. Turn it off and then turn it back on again. And 23.7, 23.8. I think we'll call that 24 because it did get up to about 24. Right, take that one out of there, nice and carefully. Should have designed that a little bit better so I could clip that, clamp that on better. There we go. And on the 48 volt side, it's 6.7. Just turn that off and then turn it back on again to make sure. What did I do? Come on. Six point seven, six point eight. It looks like about six point eight amps going in. So I guess somebody will do some maths in the in the comment section below again because I can work out the watts and stuff like that I just don't understand the efficiency side of things so there we go Chuba's battery hasher 3.0 is real it works next try and do three cards off of this I'll give this a week or so of run time and see what happens but if I can get three cards running off this I'll have to replace the motherboard because the motherboard's only got two PCI Express slots but We'll get all over that next time. Anyway, Tubers, thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one.